I've never done a video in entirely one take before. I've never done the, the birdman of talking to the camera. So I thought today, as I'm in such a rush to get out and do my activities, it's my day off. Today is the day to do it. So let's talk about Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go being the global phenomenon that has quite simply taken over everyone's phone and pockets entirely. It was something I... Let's, no, let's do the whole history. Let's do from the very start to the very end. So, before Pokemon Go came out, I saw an advert by the Google, which was by the Google, by Google, the um, the company Google. They did a April Fools video, which was where they had this um, Pokemon Go Google Map thing, and it did look really cool. Um, but apart from that, I had no more knowledge of Pokemon Go or its existence until about four days before it came out when I had inside knowledge that you could get it early through downloading the American Apple Store and I honestly, I all of a sudden became taken in by the hype and I downloaded it early and I played it for two days before the release I got to like level five yeah, um, it was really, really addictive. It was fun, it was new, and it involved physical activity and video games, which is kind of like just the perfect combination, really, because it gets you outside with fresh air, and it also gets you trying to catch Charizard. I, I couldn't ask for any more than that. But unfortunately, I kind of live in a suburb area. It's not city, it's not rural, it's kind of bang in the middle, which means that the selection of Pokemon is so limited uh, it gets quite frustrating. We have Pidgeys, Rattatas and Drowsies. We don't get many of the exciting ones. The most exciting thing I've caught in this area is an Electabuzz and that was on the very first day. Um, but I still really loved the game and I kept going at it and I kept playing it, enjoying it, until the three-step glitch and that's when the tracking system stops working and in it just meant you could never find what you were looking for or what was nearby and the amount of times something rare would pop up and I wouldn't be able to find it it was awful and the method Niantic used to fix this was remove it altogether instead of actually fixing the tracking system they well they they just covered the hole they 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 had a hole in the wall and they put a poster over it instead of actually fixing it so the public did what they do best and they found a solution themselves and they created a app called Pokevision or a website called Pokevision where you could find exactly the location of your Pokemon that it was in the area. And with this app I managed to find a Rhyhorn, an Electrode, a Pikachu. But then they closed the app down. Niantic, the awful company it is, with the lack of communication with the public, it stopped the app working, it changed the rules and it introduced a slightly different version of the tracking system which was still awful. And at this point I was, before this whole the tracking system stopped working, I was about level 20 and this was a good three weeks ago now and I'm still level 20. I just haven't got over the fact that Niantic have been so poor to their fans and it's, it's ruined the game for me to be honest. I can't play it anymore, I don't enjoy it. I, I've had this 2k egg in my incubator for the last three to four weeks and I've only walked 0.3 kilometers with the app open. Which kind of summarizes the downfall to my Pokemon Go experience. I have got interested in other Pokemon games again. It's it's re rekindled my my love for the, the franchise and I've started playing other bits again. Got a few friends trying to battle me. Uh, that's gonna happen soon then. But yeah, I, I just wanted to explain why I dislike Pokemon Go now and I wish I could love it because I initially loved the concept. And yeah, that's why I dislike Pokemon Go. And that was one take. First time, boom!